Guys, Yarn Minutemen back again with another video. Today we're going to be checking out the gear of a Minuteman in the Continental Army. So first up, we'll start from the bottom up. We have shoes, basically just leather shoes, buckles. We have gaiters, protect your feet, button down, protect your feet from swamps and stuff if you're walking through that. We have socks, basically wool socks of any color, just to cover up your legs. And you have your trousers, which basically are pants. Then next up, we have the waistcoat, which is a vest underneath. Underneath that, of course, you have a shirt. Then above that, this is a hunting frock, which some militia, most militia would probably have. Then we have a frog skin belt here, which is very common to hold this, a tomahawk, which most militia soldiers would take to war with them. Nice melee weapon there. And then we have the cartridge box made out of leather. I only have a few cartridges in it, but that's what you use to load up your gun, hold it together by a strap. Then you have your haversack here, holds some stuff you might need, like a plate or something in there. And you have a canteen filled with water, good for drinking out of. Mm. That's good. Um, then you have a bayonet right here, which you put on the end of your gun when you're charging at somebody. Then you have the bayonet sheath right there made out of leather with brass on the top of it, together by a strap once again. Then, moving rapidly to the top, finally, the hat, which is every colonial civilian or military would have a hat, any type of hat, basically, that was around that period. So, then we have the knapsack on the back. You should be carrying more stuff that you can't really carry in here, like possibly a sleeping bag or something. All right, there. It's held together by like a backpack style style. And last but not least, most people's favorite, the musket. This is a brown bess, and this model was made in 1762, and the person who made it, or the inspector, was Grice, as you can see by the name right there. And this is probably, this, you can tell it's a brown bess for a few reasons. Number one, right here, the GR stands for George Reigns, or Rex. And Rex is Latin for king, so George King or King George. Then also, on the other musket that was used, the Charleville, you'd have rings like holding this in, but instead you have pins like right here, here, and here. I'll probably miss a few there, but that's fine. So basically, it's a piece of wood held together, or the, this, the flintlock right here is called a flintlock because you have the flint and the lock, which is held together by these two screws right here on this. Then you attach the barrel, and I'll show you how this works. So, you're all loaded, you have the gunpowder here, gunpowder down here, right? So, when you pull this back, this will be closed like that, you pull the trigger, and the flint hits the steel, causing a spark in the pan to ignite the gunpowder, which explodes, goes through this teeny tiny touch hole you might be able to see right there, and that touch hole goes into the barrel with the powder in the, right here, which powders the ball, sends the ball, all the way out and hopefully at the British. So now to load the musket, be like here, you go into your box, pull out a cartridge, bite it off, pour some in here, close this, pour the rest of the thing and dump the cartridge in here if you're live firing, but since we're reenactors, we drop the cartridge. You pull out your ramrod and ram everything down like that, like so. Take it out. Put the ramrod oh, back in its spot right there. So, now I will fire the musket if you want to get on the other side so you can see how it's going. So, the command, you'll be at the shoulder. The command will be prime and load. So at that command, you turn the musket like this and come down like prime and load. Open the pan, go into your cartridge box, pull out a paper cartridge filled with gunpowder. Right at the top, and you pour some of the gunpowder in here, just like so. Close the pan, cast it about, pour the rest of the gunpowder down here. And once again, as reenactors, we do not use a ramrod. We do, we mostly just 
make sure it's down there all good. And so when you're done, you go to the shoulder. Then the command will be poise fire lock. You go like this, make ready, you cock the musket back, and the command fire, or yes, present next. Then the command fire, you pull the trigger, and it goes boom. So on the count of three, I'm gonna fire. All right, ready? One, two, three. And so as an infantryman, Continental Army, you need to be able to fire this, with, load it, and fire it about within 20 to 30 seconds. So let's see if I can do that. Ready? Go. That happens sometimes when it's sort of not too nice out. What you want to do, maybe blow the, or get the powder right down. Oh, and the flint came out. That's probably the main problem with this. Ahoy! So, I'll try a, a refire. And that's it. So, we'll see you guys right. next video. Peace out.